Five years in the making, in an overwhelming vote, teachers in Providence approve a new tentative contract. It comes at a time when the state faces, as we all know, a financial crisis. Eyewitness News reporter Stephen Schuler joins us live with details that are new at 6. The school board still needs to vote on the proposed contract, but the mayor hopes the end of this five-year stalemate will encourage other unions to come to the table. The Providence Teachers Union reaching a compromise with the city to approve a three-year contract. The Teachers Union voted overwhelmingly this morning in support of concessions such as a 15% co-share on health insurance and a wage freeze next year. These are extraordinary times and that no one is exempt from participating in this shared sacrifice for the well-being of our city. The contract is retroactive, compensating teachers with a 3% wage increase for the past two years. The change in health insurance coverage will save the city $1.5 million a year. These are real savings for the taxpayers of our city, and I really want to thank uh, the Providence teachers for coming forward at this really important time. Providence teachers have worked without a contract for five years. The mayor says he hopes other unions, like firefighters and police, will follow suit and agree to concessions. Come to the table and agree to those same cost-saving measures that the teachers have, that 1033 has, and that are necessary for Providence to get through what is an incredibly challenging economic time. Now the teachers union tells me that due to the tough economic times, it was the appropriate decision for Providence teachers to step up to the plate once again. The school board is expected to vote on the new contract on Tuesday. I'm Stephen Schuler, Eyewitness News.